Chimface uses keyword detection and image recognition algorithms to flag publicly available internet content with a high likelihood of being linked to trafficking or animal exploitation. If I post a picture on Facebook of a great ape and then six months later you post a picture of a great ape and the software tells us it's the same animal, we can start to understand who's trading with who. We'll know that I sent an animal to you and so in some way we're in the same trade network so we can start to piece together who the players are in this online trade network, but it's complicated. We begin by collecting lots of images, hundreds or even thousands of baby chimpanzees and then manually annotating where the face is in the image. That's a very laborious process. Next, we feed those annotated images as training data into a deep learning algorithm to train a convolutional neural network. By iterating on that training process enough times, we can tune that algorithm to very accurately detect the presence of a baby chimpanzee face in an image and also identify exactly where that face is showing up in a larger photograph. We say, okay, we have got proof that this chimp was illegally obtained from this particular individual, trafficker, and has gone off to this individual or facility elsewhere. And that can be a huge help in cracking down on the illegal trade. I am now monitoring over a hundred uh, of these people who are either selling or buying great apes. Chimpface is an amazing tool that will help us to much more effectively fight wildlife crime online and we're very excited to partner with them to combat wildlife crime and to help important little people like Horatius and get them to safety and protection. And one of our ultimate hopes is that the technology could be scaled up and scaled out to include additional target species. If we don't try new things, if we don't try new approaches, if we don't try to figure out what works, we're never going to crack down on this crime by using the same ineffective methods over and over again.